Hello, do you like Behemoth? Well, even if you don't, it's time for the Behemoth Universe Timeline. Yeah! Hey, Behemoth is pretty cool. You know what else is pretty cool? Subscribing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Anyway, so, Behemoth. The gaming icon creator of many childhoods. Many of you have probably played their games and seen the easter eggs of their other games they've made in them, but did you know they all share a universe? Aliens from Alien Hominid show up in Castle Crashers and Hattie Haddington is the direct cause for the main plot of Pit People. So there's much speculation as to the timeline of these events, and now I'm going to tell you the most likely accurate theory of the timeline. So oddly enough, everything starts with Alien Hominid, because, and now hear me out, this is crazy. The rest of the story takes place after a world-ending-like event takes place and destroys most life until new life arises, like cat people, cupcake people, leftover humans, etc. This would make sense with a weird combination of technology in the later three games, both medieval and industrial. It could be like that because of leftover technology mixed with magic. Alien Hominid has the least precedence for evidence story-wise, so this is me mainly just putting puzzle pieces together to explain things, but now on to the next thing in the timeline. So there's three things that show where this takes place in the timeline, and honestly, one of them shows an alarming amount of planning ahead. But the first one is very simple, and we all probably remember it if you played the game. And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats! None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. This clip was obviously a foreshadowing to the bat boss in Castle Crashers, and it would make sense why he's not there, since he's terrified of bats. But the next evidence is a big one. On one of the background walls in the game is graffiti that says, Honey Hug is Among Us. And if you don't remember who that is, that is the giant space bear that Hattie Haddington blasts to hell in the end of a Battle Block Theater, which is quite literally also the third evidence. It's literally the ending of the game. Hattie, for some reason, shoots a green beam out of his hat, disintegrating Honey Hug. get it because of them yes it all makes sense now but battle block theater is quite an easy game to place in the timeline so the next one is <laughs> castle crashers debatably behemoth's most successful game how does it fall into the timeline well, it's kinda messy, but let's do the obvious first. There's the Bat Boss, that was finally made by the scientist in Battle Block. But there's something else about that cave that is very, very interesting. The name of it, Pepistrello. Remember in Pit People, there's Pepistrella and King Pepistrella, so I think in some way it's related to them. There's no way to be 100% sure or not, but if it is, it places Castle Crashers and Pit People very close timeline-wise, which puts Battle Block Theater, Castle Crashers, and Pit People very close to all one another. Honestly, as I list the evidence, there's no way to be sure what happens first, Castle Crashers or Pit People for sure, but we're just using some logic to try and fill the gaps. But due to the bat, we know that it's after Battle Block, but also there's no green bear blood anywhere, so it's also safe to say that it's before Pit People.
Well, this one is extremely obvious. The only thing that really needs to be said is look at the ending. It shows Honey Kiss grieving the loss of Honey Hug and messing with everyone, and then in a fit of rage, uses Hatting Haddington to destroy all of existence. You wanna know what happened? Here, I'll show you! This one doesn't require much theorizing because it's very plainly the last in the timeline by simply showing it. <laughs> so, yeah. I also want to take this opportunity to say thank you, Behemoth. You are my biggest inspiration to be a game designer, and I strive to be able to make games as, as goofy and funny like yours, but yet being so innovative and able to hold up a real story under it all. As silly as it is. <laughs> And I can't wait for Alien Hominid Invasion. And maybe that game will blow this entire timeline through the water. Hey! I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. As long as this content keeps getting supported, I'll keep trying to make it. Um, it's, it's been an honor, and you have a good rest of your day.